feelings are one of the physical reaction that help prepare release. It is important for us to express our feelings uh, following our emotions. There is a face that is that need us to be sad and we need to express it. Uh, the readers ever hear that students suffering with uh, depression and gender, gender stereotype which uh, men cannot cry. Below are the reasons why people think that cry is mean you are weak. Hmm, let me share. Referring to psychological on behavioral health at numerous children health, Medically reviewed by Lisa and Baklu, uh, sign of depression is the is causes of the sadness that doesn't go away. As human being, also myself before, people perception, people perception is our first priority. We we scared to show our lo, uh, ourselves that in a lower stage because we scared of the judgment. Did you guys ever hear this statement? Crying is a normal psychological response to emotion. It is normal to respond. It is a natural response from deep sadness and grief to extreme happiness. I'm Nabila Fitrin. So today I would like to persuade all of you guys uh, to change this stigma, which are crying is doesn't crying doesn't make doesn't mean you are weak. Take care of your emotion. Why? Because Deny our feelings is posed to a the, to a dangerous lifestyle and lead to depressions. Express sadness doesn't mean you are weak, yet it a must. So the reason why people scared to show their emotion is gender stereotypes. Boys shouldn't cry. Crying is a sign of weakness, according to um according to Dr. Helen, biologist, anthropologist. Hide, to hide feelings and begin to anxiety, good and hurt with silence, drive to unconscious emotions. In a long term, um, boys will self-medicate themselves with alcohol or drugs. Referring to Malay, Malay Man Report on 2020, statistics shows that death involving drunk driving accident increasing year by year so for a solution don't don't cry because doesn't um for the beginner i think um why people don't cry is because they don't have a safe space so to so to get the solution or to solve this problem is find your safe space so from uh from my suggestion i suggest you guys to go and find your own safe space for example go to uh to the beach so enjoying the natural the blue the blue ocean and enjoy the the sound of wave or maybe uh the other suggestion i suggest you guys to go my box my box at lala port kuala lumpur which is only uh cost RM40 but there we can express our feelings without any judgment and so uh, the safety there they provide us a full full uh, full jumpsuit a helmet which uh, face shield and cheek glove so the place is designed specifically to handle screams and beating so we can completely let loose and go crazy there and did you guys know that emotion can be the reason of happiness if you know how to how the important to validate your sadness actually cry is a sign of strength people who choose to cry is not easy but who can express their sadness and feeling without any doubt was inspiring. Have you guys asked yourself why people normalize respond to this with shh don't cry? Inevitably we ask them to stop expressing feelings. Um so in additional from my research, 
parenting in, uh, from the parenting implication right written by so lively on september 2018 uh, said just let your kid cry why because they are in a learning phase and they are still learning how to express themselves so just allow them to cry and if it makes them feel better just let them have the tears moment and convince them in a positive way after that let them know that it's okay to cry and cry is the one of the therapy and a sign of strength so all in all crying is important bear in your mind crying doesn't mean you are weak everyone let's together change these stereotypes for less keep my word quote from dr n brown a strong person is not the one who doesn't cry a strong person is the one who cry then the after that shed the tears for a moment then get up and fight again so that's all from me thank you